All right, let's go ahead and get started with this. First of all, you, of course, um, minimize your OBS up here. And now you are on the uh, Xbox um, Companion right now. So, as you can see right here, this is um, where you get the connection at. Sometimes it'll um, not be connected, so you would, like, for this Xbox period, push connect. But we're going to be using this one down here, which is already connected. So, as you can see, more test streaming, streaming. What you're going to do is go ahead and push stream. Probably the first thing you should do. That way, um, you know everything's good to go. As you can see, everything's ready to go. Yeah, make sure your controller's on, ready to go too. And you're pretty much um, streaming your Xbox to your PC, first of all. And if you go up to the right corner, say you want to take the quality down, you can go high, medium, low, or very high. Right now, I got it on very high. It depends really on your PC, what you're using and everything. That way, if you have a PC that's not running very well, then you're going to want to go a little lower on the quality. All right, we're going to go ahead and jump out of this now by just minimizing it. And we're going to go back to the OBS. And now you're going to want to set up your scenes. First of all, you want to set up your game stream. Make sure um, to use um, display capture. You can easily set up scenes just by right-clicking down here. Add. And then it gives you a bunch of options. As you can see, I did the display capture as one of my options. But I also added the audio output capture. That's very important, especially if you're going to want to stream your audio in the stream. Set up your mic and everything. Uh, you might want to set up an external mic, especially if you're, do it, if you're going in-game and wearing a headset. Say if you're on a team or whatever. Set up a separate mic. Make sure it's hooked up into your PC. That way your audio gets captured through your stream. Otherwise, it's going to be nice and quiet. But I set up a uh, video capture device, which is pretty much the webcam I have. I got a little piece of paper in front of it. And um, I set up also text right here. That's going to be the top, especially if you want it to be red. And then I got another scene here. All right, switching over now. Um, we got the um, face cam. So you got your video capture device right here, uh, your um, text, of course, right here. It's going to be your top thing right there. And the audio capture device, of course, once again, you're definitely going to want that. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch it back to um, what we're recording right now. Next step you're going to want to do is, so you got these two scenes already. But the problem is, though, you don't want it to, you don't want to have to constantly switch back and forth and Go like that. So what you're going to do now is go to your settings and jump over to your hotkeys. So right now, um, to stop the stream, start the stream, I have the um, number plus sign and the number minus sign. Just use something that you know you're not going to be hitting on your PC constantly. That way you're not um, screwing with the settings or whatever. So I got my number pad set up like that. Also down here, it's going to show your scenes right here. Face scene, which is going to be um, number pad zero. And I switched the um, game scene over to uh, number pad one. Exit out of this. Right now it's on the um, game. So if I push number pad zero, automatically it switches right over. So you can pretty much do this on your PC while you're playing. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump over on Facebook. Uh, make sure you go ahead and... Say if you want to create like your own gaming page or whatever, especially for Facebook gaming. I got virtual violence gamers up here right now. When you create it, make sure you label it as a gaming video creator, especially if you want to say monetize and eventually um, gain the um, the currency for it, which is uh, stars. Kind of like how Twitch has bits, Facebook uh, uses stars. And in order to be able to become a partner in the Level Up program, you have to have at least 100 followers and so much streaming time before you can actually qualify for it. Once you get to this, you're going to go to Create Live. And watch as everything loads up. And see, it's waiting for live video right now. So it's going to help you get started with this. You can go down here. And it's going to give you a, a stream key for it. So 
what you're going to do is you're going to copy that stream key and then you're going to go back over to OBS hit right into your settings and go up here to where it says stream all right right but right now um Facebook live is what it is on mine on your end it might be under Facebook gaming which that's what it is now but what you're going to do is whatever you got in there you're going to delete it and since you've already copied it you're going to paste it in there and looks like that's ready to go now so you can also share it to different pages for example but right now um, this is going to go on virtual violence gamers live video title you can title the video if you'd like say something about the video like the comments or whatever go down here or this is gaming tag a game pretty much whatever your game you're going to be playing in your stream put that down all right i've also figured out if you're ever having any trouble um especially if um, your stream's not working correctly um you can go up here and actually go up to where it says custom and in the settings right here it's going to say it's going to have a server url so you can actually just copy that and paste it and then um, copy your stream key and then go back over here and then delete whatever you have and then repaste that and then of course you're going to go back and say yes to saving the settings so now we're going to push start streaming and as you can see right here in the uh, Facebook area, it's saying connecting live video. So right now, as you can see, it has the live feed of the video right now. So of course, you're going to make sure you have all your settings um, done correctly, everything title and stuff. And then you're going to click go live. Uh, once you've done that, hit over to your OBS. Make sure you got the right scenes, or you can just go straight to your console companion. As you can see, my Xbox kind of timed out a little bit here, but you can always get it back. And then remember your hotkeys boom, boom, number zero, number one. But if those aren't your hotkeys, you could set up whatever you want. Let's go back to minimizing this again. As you can see, we got this back down here and this is pretty much showing you it's going to be a little bit of a delay right there any questions any comments leave them down below don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out all of our other videos and materials and everything